I will not put up with bullshit of any shape, size, or form from anyone, okay? That, this is my own personal thing. This is how you command respect from people, okay? I don't care if it's someone I just met. I don't care if it's a girl I've been seeing for one year. I don't care if it's my fucking mother. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. And today I wanna to talk about how to command respect, okay? Primarily from women, but also just in general from people in your lives, okay? From your friends, from your family members, from your coworkers, etc. Everybody wants to be respected, okay? Before we continue, if you are not already a subscriber, please press the subscribe button below and you will be alerted every day at 2 p.m. Eastern time of my new videos, okay? Lots of really cool shit coming out. I'm really excited about where the channel is going. I just got back from the gym, so I'm a little bit sweaty and flustered. Um, so respect, it all comes down to reward and punishment. Okay, there's a concept in psychology called classical conditioning. Um, B.F. Skinner, okay, the psychologist B.F. Skinner, he talks about how if there's good behavior, you give a reward. Okay, if there's bad behavior, you give a punishment. Okay, and then there's learning that takes place, right? Let's say you had an animal, okay? Like, let's say you had a pet. If the pet goes and pisses or shits on your carpet, and you're like, good boy, and you give it a treat, okay? It knows that it can do this thing, okay? And that it's okay, and that it's permitted, and that it's tolerated, okay? If it's barking all the time, right, and you don't correct it and stop it, it's going to continue to do it, okay? And so on and so forth. This carries through to all areas of life, okay? They have examples with rats, right? Where the rat goes to do something and then they, they shock it or whatever. They, they inflict some kind of negative stimulus and then it learns not to go do that thing, okay? So respect largely comes down to boundaries, okay? And it's also the way you carry yourself, having standards, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, if you, if you have no opinion on something, Right, for instance, let's start right off with there. Let's say the girl's like, hey, what kind of food do you want? Oh, uh, whatever kind you want. What kind of movie do you want to watch? Oh, I don't know, whatever kind you, what, what kind do you like? Okay, if you're constantly trying to be a people pleaser and trying to give everyone exactly what they want rather than having your own grounding, okay, and your own things that you like and, and own thing, you know, the thing, basically having your life together, I have a set of values, I have a set of principles. I have a set of things I like. I'm not worried to voice those things, okay? And then regarding the, the boundaries and the punishment, okay? You should make a firm rule right now. Remember in my three-second rule video, I said make a, a firm rule that you're never going to delay further when you see an attractive girl in public, okay, that you want to talk to. And I told you that if you make that change for the rest of your life, you're going to have scores more of opportunities, okay? Because when you don't approach, you have a 0% chance. And when you approach, you're giving yourself a greater than 0% chance, okay? And the girl could be interested in you. You can end up having a romantic and sexual relationship, okay? Now I want you to make another rule. And I have to constantly reinforce this to, to myself in my own life. And with my, my very close friends, I say, listen, like sometimes you need to like reel it back in and regroup. I will not put up with bullshit of any shape, size, or form from anyone. Okay, that this is my own personal thing. This is how you command respect from people. Okay, I don't care if it's someone I just met. I don't care if it's a girl I've been seeing for one year. I don't care if it's my fucking mother. Okay, I actually just left my family group chat recently because my parents are neglecting taking the coronavirus immune uh, boosters. I've done tons of research about how to drastically minimize coronavirus. Okay, and if you, if you look at my channel or search coronavirus in my videos, I walk through what supplements to take to make the, the risk very, very low. Okay, and I, I want them to be following that and I want them to be enforcing it with my grandparents rather than just rolling the dice if and when they get the coronavirus. Okay, and they're like, oh, this and this and this and this, just a bunch of bullshit excuses. And I said, listen, I'm not having contact with you further, okay, unless it's, you know, of, of some important matter or whatever, just regular conversation. I'm not engaging that with you until further notice, until you can show me the receipt 
that you've purchased these supplements and, and show me that you're regularly taking them, okay? Because I think that's important because I don't want my loved ones, okay, the people that are close to me, to roll the dice on their health in regards to this disease. But the thing is, is that you need to have these, these lines, right, that, you do, that people cannot cross, okay? And then it's up to you how many chances you give someone or in what form the punishment is. Typically, I will give someone like a free pass, like a free card, and I'll say, listen, that was fucked up what you did here, okay? And, and in almost every case, people will try to twist and slant and make excuses and defend, right, so that they don't have to take any blame. Okay, my uncle, who, who also taught me the importance of boundaries, he was a big natural back in his day. He also taught me that you need to look at this like a judge. Okay, of course, the person you're telling that you crossed the boundary is going to make up excuses and say they didn't really and et cetera, et cetera. But you need to look at the objective information. No, you did this and this and it was fucked up and I don't appreciate it. And I'm not, I don't tolerate stuff like that. Okay, and you don't need to make it extremely confrontational, but... People will appreciate that. People will appreciate the fact that you told them, hey man, listen, that wasn't cool. And not just like, you know, like a token, like, hey dude, that's not cool, but I'm gonna let you get away with it anyways, right? I've actively cut off friends, right? Like I have a rule when I have a wingman or when I go out to do game, like cold approach pickup with friends, okay, I'm, I'm uh, this sounds very arrogant, but I'm always far greater than them in skill level, okay? But I've had guys try to play this little thing like, oh, I'm going to try to fucking get j Malv's girl or I'm going to try to one-up j Malv or John Anthony as, as my new name here. And they want to and they want to fucking like go in and approach a girl um, that that uh, I've already got a number from. Right. Or they maybe want to hit on a fuck buddy, which is a huge, huge no, no Okay, that I have over. I invite a guy friend over and, and he thinks it's OK to be making sexual or flirtatious remarks. Um, and I've had to actively cut off friends like that or like gotten in almost very close physical confrontations that had to be broken up by, it, it's just out of control. Like, like I could steal my friend's girls or I could fucking go and hit on the girls. I got the numbers from, I just never do that because I think it's fucked up and it's, it's like a, a line I don't cross. I won't even do it to some guy I just met. If he just got a girl's number, I'm not going to go in and take that girl's number. I think that's fucking retarded. Um, Point being, you need to come up with what values are important to you, what, what lines are important to you, and then enforce those when people cross those. You also have to carry yourself, okay, in a confident way, in a way that shows you have values. You have not, I'm not talking about like just moral values and shit like this, but you, you have certain things you permit and do not permit, okay? You have opinions on things, okay? You're not willing to, like, let's say I'm like, Oh, I don't get involved in politics, but let's say I made, I made some political statement and the girl's like, oh, I really don't like that. I'm not just going to be like, oh, well, she doesn't like that, so I'm going to like back off. That doesn't mean getting a huge confrontation, but it's okay to have strong opinions, okay, and be a man. Girls want a guy that's taking charge, okay, that knows what he wants, that goes after what he wants, that does what he wants unapologetically, okay, without being an asshole, and also, on the flip side, without being a huge pussy, okay? They don't want a guy that's just going to roll over and take everything. Remember I, I talked about, I'm kind of tying all these videos together now. I talked about how to be a chick magnet. A lot of that is being normal and being cool, calling girls out on their shit, okay? Um, being unapologetic about things that you do and say, okay? Of course, without being a huge asshole. They want a guy that can show a sweet side, but also can fucking lay down the law and call them out on their shit, okay? And it's very, very hard to find, especially in these modern times where men have become increasingly more feminine, okay? And a lot of that's uh, pushed in the media and women are becoming progressively more masculine. Okay. And here I, here I go slipping into darkness again. Uh, so that, that pretty much sums up the points. Please check out my video on having boundaries as a man. I will link to that at the end of this video. If you got value from this, please like it, please share. Also, if you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below and there's going to be amazing new value videos every single day at 2 PM Eastern. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for a YouTube live on Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be with Trip from Trip Advice. Um, he's going to have some interesting viewpoints to bring to the table. Uh, I'm going to shoot to try to get out my first roast uh, in this new roast series on Sunday. And I reordered. I apologize about the lighting shit. I reordered. I, I've, this is like the fourth time I'm ordering a ring light. It's those circle lights. 
fucking illuminates your face and gets catch light in your eyes. That should be here in about a week or so. And then I, even like even the outdoor shooting in the sunlight and shit, I'm getting like a dark figure. So I need like I need like an extension cord to bring that. I will fix those issues. Uh, but the content is gonna remain on point. Okay, every day, 2 p.m. Okay. And the more you guys can like, share, and subscribe, the faster the channel will grow. The more motivation I have to keep putting out good ton content. Okay, we got the thumbnails back on point. Lots of really cool shit, breakdowns, interviews. Um, Lots and lots of cool stuff. Okay, I'll be giving free giveaways, doing YouTube lives, etc. Okay, so like and subscribe if you have not already. Remember, do a little exercise after this video. List out your boundaries. List out things that you have firm positions on. Okay, list out what's important to you. List out things that are of high value in your life, your demonstrations of high value. You can work those into conversation, both in online game, over text message, and in person. Okay, and I will see you guys in the next video. I am John Anthony. Um, I wish you guys the best in commanding respect because I, I went from one side to the other. Okay, I went from being a pushover, being extremely passive, people walking on me, you know, speaking softly. You know, it, uh, nothing worse. And a lot of you guys watch this can relate to this. When when you say something in a group setting and everyone's like, "What?" or no one even hears you, or people look at you and they're like, "Shut the fuck up," or you know, something like that, and you don't have any fucking balls to stand up for yourself or you know, have any kind of presence and, and no one's going to respect that, especially not girls, but this is how you lose respect to, to male friends and family and all, all those other things. Okay. So make sure you hold those things strong. Watch my video on boundaries. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.